So I want to invite Andrea, uh, Marcella, and Kylie to come up to the front. Um, and uh, Totus to Us is a missionary program that I did with the Archdiocese of Cincinnati uh, two summers ago and three summers ago. And um, Andrea is the director of Totus to Us. Totus to Us is Latin for, um, uh, so like, uh, Totus to Us Latin for uh, totally yours. Uh, so, uh, I was like, Barry saying, uh, where are you going? That's cool body. <laughs> So, all right. all awesome. Hi guys, I'm Andrea Patch. I work for the Archdiocese, um, and one of my favorite parts of my job, my favorite part of my job, is running the Totus Tuus program. Um, it has a special place in my heart because a long, long time ago when I was a college student, I served um, as a Totus Tuus missionary, um, and it was probably the thing that changed my life the most. Um, so, just going from a college student who, like, practiced my faith, um, into a college student who like deeply loved the Lord and wanted to run after him. Um, so Totus Tuus um, is really a time of sacrifice, a time of laying your life down in service for others. It's a summer program, so it's just a summer job. It's paid. So many missionary things like now are like fundraise your salary, beg people to pay you money so you can buy soap. Um, like, we don't want to be that. We, it is already hard enough to give up a whole summer of your lives um, that we want to pay you. Um, we don't pay well. We pay minimum wage. Um, but all of your housing and meals are covered throughout the summer. Um, so the program has five pillars that I think are key to making the program successful. It's a Eucharistic de devotion. So every day um, we're teaching youth grades 1 through 12, and we're bringing the little kids to Mass every day. Um, for the teen program, we're having a night of adoration and confession where they can come before the Lord and pray. Um, there's also a Marian devotion as part of Totus Tuus. So each year we teach on a different set of the mysteries of the rosary, and we pray a rosary with the kids. So as you're teaching, you're praying the rosary, you're teaching the kids about Mary as our spiritual mother. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, the third pillar is vocational discernment. And so I think as all of you, like young adults, discerning your vocation, discerning your call, like Totus Tuus is going to help you to do that. You don't have to have all of the answers. <coughs> God knows I did not. When I signed up to teach Totus Tuus, I still, like, to this day, turn to my boss. I'm like, why did you hire me? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure I said very heretical things in my interview. <laughs> and, like, I was 19 and you asked me where the best bars were. And I had answers. <laughs> like, why did you hire me? It was like, I knew that you had a love for Jesus. And I could train you on the rest. Like, I can't train you to love Jesus. But if you have the faith, we can train you on the rest. Um, the other parts of Totus Tuus are catechesis and witness. So I think just being young adults, you can say things to kids that's just going to resonate in their hearts so much more than old people like we can. Like, I swear to God, I sent my daughter to Totus Tuus two years ago. And she fell in love with Mary and asked if we could pray a rosary together every night. I'm like, do you know how long I've been trying to make this happen as your mother? <laughs> but it wasn't cool until Caitlin showed her that Mama Mary's got her back and she loves carrying around her beads. And like, she made it so cool. Um, I can't do that. I'm not going to pretend to. Um, so it's just a great thing to like be able to use your youth, be able to use your joy um, and make that sacrifice um, to... Give of yourself this summer. I know some of you are like real jobs, full-time jobs, um, engaged getting married this summer, crazy things like that. Um, but if you are in a place where you're free, if you are in a place where you're discerning, if you are in a place where you're feeling tugged or pulled, um, I would just ask you to take that to prayer and discern. Um, if, is this something that God could be calling me to do? Um, it's long days. You're exhausted the entire time. Um, but I know St. John Paul II says, 
Man cannot fully know himself except for a sincere gift of self. I know that when I was doing Totus Tuus, when I was pouring everything I had into loving each kid that was before me, even if they were annoying the crap out of me, I felt more alive. I knew myself better and I knew Christ better because I was giving a gift of myself throughout that whole summer. So I grew a ton through the experience. Um, we don't expect you to have all of the answers. We don't expect you to know every church teaching. We're going to train you on the top three things that the kids need to know at the end of each class. And as long as you teach those three things, you're good. You got it. Like, and, and kids are easy, you know? Like, they just want to be loved. First and second graders, they really just want to, like, be called on, even if they forget the answer <laughs> <laughs> every single time. Um, but you're able to, like, teach the grade that you're comfortable teaching. So I knew very little about my faith my first summer of teaching Totus Tuus. And thankfully, we were teaching on the Ten Commandments, which I had memorized. And I knew. I wasn't living, but I knew um, enough to teach on them. But I taught first and second graders, so I didn't get hard questions. And that was a great thing. My second summer of Totus Tuus, when I started taking my faith more seriously and started diving in and learning more, I was able to, like, go into the high school group and be like, all right, can I handle this? Bring on your questions. What do you got for me? Um, but I'm going to stop talking now. I have some pieces of paper I'm just going to have Emily pass around. So if you are interested in more information about Totus Tuus, this is not saying, like, yes, I'm doing it. I commit my summer. If you're interested in more information, I will email you a video that talks more about it and information on how to apply. Um, I won't stalk you. I don't have time for that. Um, but if you're interested in more information, you can sign up and just like kind of pass them around up the tables. But I'm going to turn it over to Kylie and let her share a little bit of her experience with Totus Tuus. Do something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when I first went into Totus Tuus, I was totally terrified. I was like, I'm not good enough. I like literally went to confession the week or a couple of days before I left for training. I told my priest, I was like, I'm gonna be the weak link. Like, I'm gonna like fail our team. Like, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough. He literally told me, Oh, don't worry. The strongest you can be is like the weakest link. And I'm like, Well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> um, going into Totus Tuus. The, I knew I wanted to teach the 5th and 6th graders because that's what I want to like do as my occupation someday. And I had no idea what I was getting into, like the hard questions. I wasn't even thinking about that when I first did it. But it's like the first week, I'll be honest, was a little rough because you're still getting it all under your belt. You're trying to figure out what you're going to do. But at the end of the week, like when the kids come up to you and give you a thank you and like a hand or a written one, and like saying what you taught them, it just like gives you so much inspiration, and like energy to go into the next week and do it again. And I went on family vacation in between our break and our priest was talking about um, the Eucharist and it was like an amazing story. They had like the little like cards you can put money in like when for the offertory. And I grabbed one of those and I started writing down his sermon and my little brother was like, hey, stop, the people are looking at you. I was like, yeah, but this is so good. I have to share it with my students. And so, like, I brought it with me. I brought it home from vacation, and I brought it back to the next week. And coincidental enough, it was Rushi. And I had Grace York and, like, Marcella. We were all together that week, and Grace was like, guys, like, Rushi's hardcore. Like, they're going to know their stuff. I'm like, oh, great, here we go. Like, they're going to show me up as a teacher. But I gave them this story, and all the kids were just totally, like, you could just tell, like, just wanting more, wanting more. And, like, their eyes, you could just see, like, the Holy Spirit moving through them. And it was the coolest thing ever. So then the next time I taught them, they're like, Miss Kylie, Miss Kylie, tell us a story, tell us a story. I'm like, I got a story. Shoot. So, like, I, like, pray to the Holy Spirit really fast at the beginning of class. I'd let one of the students, like, lead the prayer and, like, give me a story, please. And that's what they love. Like, they just yearned for those stories. In every class period, somehow I had a story for the topic we were talking about, and I did not plan for that going into it. So at the end, when they would, like, be like, can you tell us this one again on Friday? We'd kind of go through our favorite stories. And then the students would say, like, what they took away from it. And that was the coolest thing ever because it was challenging myself to be better and stronger in my faith and being able to relate it to people, which I think is something that we struggle with, like, when um, 
I'm in church and sometimes it's just a very like factual sermon. I'm like, oh no, like how am I gonna get something out of this? But having to do that for the students has made me be able to do that during Mass, like grabbing something and then going off the week with what I took away from that sermon. It was just so cool and it challenged me so much throughout the whole summer and just made my faith grow to whole exponential measures. So I just totally challenge you guys to pray about it. And if you're ready to take that step, go for it. Did you do anything weird with your hair? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay. So I totally took the totally yours to the whole measure. <laughs> there was like a inside joke on my team about being a troll. So I came to Toto Stewart's one day with my hair completely up as a troll. Like I had a water bottle in there and the host family I was staying with, they had a two-year-old. So I had bows all over my hair. <laughs> and the rest of the week, the girls came dressed like trolls <laughs> and made my like entire summer. It was so cool. They're like, Miss Kylie, look, we have troll hair too. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was trying. so cool. They made my day. I sent a picture to Father David and Andrew, and they showed it to everybody. So don't give them any dirt to use on you. <laughs> I only got a few complaints from <laughs> But yeah, if you give them your total self, they will give you their total self, which is totally yeah. worth it in the end. That's awesome. Jacob? Yeah. Um, Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so every week you stay at a different host family. So that's like where you sleep and they feed you like breakfast. And um, yeah, so you have, and then every dinner, every night, you go to a different family in the, in the community and you have supper with them. Uh, so it's absolutely tremendous witness of like seeing uh, like actually like really authentically good moms and dads and that are like striving for sainthood and like trying to raise their children to be legit saints. And that like seriously opened my eyes. I've never seen that before. Um, I mean, outside of my like immediate family, like didn't have too many witnesses of that in my life growing up. And that was like, holy smokes, you know, that gave me a whole new perception of the vocation of marriage. Um, and working with the, the priest of the parish and uh, every week that we were at, you know, and just like having conversations with them and, and getting, preparing for mass, I mean, that gave me a whole new perception on the vocation of priesthood. And it was incredible, absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, and then kind of with the team life, so you get put on a team of two guys and two girls for, for one team. Um, and just like the brotherhood that I built with my other male teammate two summers ago and three summers ago was like insane. You know, it's like you're, you're living with this other person because um, the guys and girls have separate host homes. And it's like, like, I don't know, it's, it's, you, can't, you can't make it up. Like you can't, you can't describe it even. It's, it's something that you can't have, <laughs> that you can't like just create. You know, it's something that only the God can give. Um, and time spent together so really thankful for that and you know even if you didn't write your name down on the paper tonight you know maybe and you're thinking like um, maybe, maybe you want to or you, you're thinking about it you know just text me or message me like a month from now you know the applications are due I think February 1st uh, and uh, like Totus Tuus it's like good it's a good resume builder you know it helped me get a, a, a HR co-op at Midmark two years ago. Like, to us, it. Like, I'm, if you're a teacher major, like, this is, like, the thing to do. You tell anyone, like, you're in a, in a, uh, a job interview at any of the schools around this area, most of, I mean, you know, very Catholic area, you tell them what to us is, you tell them what you did. Oh my gosh, they got me a business job. Nonetheless, a teacher getting a teacher job. Like, you're getting experience that, like, sitting in the classroom, you know, that you might have that you have to do for college, you know, this is better than that, way better than that, and it's amazing. Um, so if you're on the fence, you know, uh, good advice that I got from Jason Brunswick, whose brother Andrew now, Lance and Logan's older brother, he said, you know, uh, you can basically corner God, you know, if you're kind of like in between doing it or not, you know, basically he said, just go ahead and apply, and if you get accepted, you know, then that's obviously God's will for you. Um, if not, don't worry about it, you know, it's like, basically, you know, like, letting it up to someone else, you know, letting putting it in God's hands, um, and like Andrea said, you know, you're going to get paid, and it's one of the few missionary programs where you actually get, you get to make money as you, you know, serve the Lord. There's just nothing out there like Totus Tuus. There really is absolutely nothing, and um, if you're in college, and you, like, you're not working a full-time job yet, 
it's, I mean, I don't know, you just have to do it. You really do. You won't regret it. Like, there's just so much, like, none of us would probably be here if, if there wasn't totus to us. Like, me and Adam started full bodies three years, two, two, three years ago, and, like, if I didn't do totus to us before that, like, I wouldn't be in full bodies. I wouldn't have had any capability of starting anything. Um, absolutely zero formation. I taught first and second graders my first summer, too, and was, like, learning like right along as I'm teaching I'm like reading stuff out of a book and I'm like I did not know that but like now we yeah, all know it. <laughs> and my favorite part about that is you're in a new parish each week so if you totally bomb you get to start over. Like the next week it's a whole new group of kids. I had a week that my teammate was teaching first and second graders and day one he became a jungle gym for the first and second graders and like our team meeting that night he was like guys like we gotta change the schedule. I can't take the first and second graders. I can't teach them. They're just climbing on me. I'm like what? <laughs> they just climb on me. How do you get them to not climb on you? <laughs> like I told them no. <laughs> what? So you know, like if you totally bomb with an age group, you can switch and not teach them for the rest of the week. If you totally bomb one week, like you've got seven weeks of teaching to like fix it and perfect it and get better and have stories to tell. So it's a great thing. Um, some practicals of the summer. It starts June 2nd. Uh, no, June 3rd. Starts June 3rd and goes through August 8th. And then you have the week of the 4th of July off. So you travel with your team throughout the week. Um, there's often exceptions of like, I have Jacob's wedding I need to go to. Um, you know, like, can I, can I leave my team to go to a wedding? Can I leave this to go for a family wedding or event or whatever? Like, those are all things we can work out and work on. Um, the one thing I'm not flexible with is if you're going to miss like more than one day of our 10 days of training, like that's significant. You actually need that information to go throughout the summer. Um, but other than that, we can work around any other um, issues or schedule stuff. But Marcella is going to talk about her experience with Totus Tuis. Yes. Um, I'm going to talk about prayer on Totus Tuis and let me tell you, you pray a lot. Your whole day is prayer, your whole life is prayer, the whole summer is prayer. And that's how we need to live life, always. Not just on totus to us. But I started praying before I even got accepted, so I heard about this because my brother did it. And I was, I was just praying that, you know, I get accepted, but I also prayed for my team. I prayed for my team that they'd just be great people. And they'd all be in it for the same mission, you know, the mission to lead the youth to Christ. And um, I kind of lost that mission right before we went to training. I uh, got accepted. And um, I went to training. I was, like, so excited. I was going to meet so many cool people. I'm going to be, like, the, like, so much energy. I just want to, like, have so much fun. And I'm going to become a saint. And then got hit in the head with a toolbox. <laughs> a literal toolbox hit me in the back of the head. And a day before we were left, or we were supposed to leave on mission, um, I didn't want to tell anyone. Uh, it was hurting, my head hurt so bad, but I, she I had a concussion. I had a concussion. I didn't want to tell Andrea because I knew she would say like, oh, you have to take it easy, you know, calm down. You need to go to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't play this game. No, I loved all the games and everything. I was so excited, but the day before, I was like in bed and I couldn't even like open my eyes because the lights were hurting my head. But I learned something throughout this um, time and throughout the whole summer because I wasn't relying on the Lord. I wasn't relying on God to fill me with that energy, to fill me with the Holy Spirit, the power and the grace of God to work through me. It was all about me. It was like, I'm going to be the cool teacher. I'm going to be like, you know, like this prayer warrior and like kick these kids in the face with a catechism like <laughs> I was about me but I was like Lord now that I'm like been told to like take it easy and like calm down and like I didn't even uh, teach my first week I couldn't even teach my first week and I was so like devastated I was like I wanted this I prayed for this for so long but I really needed to rely on the Lord uh, more throughout all this but I ask you guys to pray and consider about, uh, about doing totus to us because 
it transformed me so radically um, for realizing, yes, I need to rely on the Lord more, but also putting scheduled times of prayer into my day. So if you don't do post to us, consider doing this, to schedule times of prayer into your day because otherwise it's not going to happen. And we had a very intense schedule as a missionary. Uh, so we would um, pray in the morning, teach classes, go to daily mass. Everything like was prayer. And um, I just really learned to rely on the Lord to um, help me through it all because uh, it gets intense and no matter how intense I can be, the Lord was asking me to, no, make your prayer life more intense, okay? So it's not about me, it's about relying on the Lord, and I ask you guys to just pray about it, to consider doing photos to us, and it's really great. If you have questions, we'll stick around afterwards. These three are experts. I have Emily with me in the back, who um, serves as one of our team support coordinators. So as we've hosted TOTUS to us over the years, we've made some improvements. Um, we have a full-time TOTUS to us spiritual director and chaplain, Father David Dosick. Um, he is on call for any spiritual needs of the missionaries throughout the summer. I'm on call for any... I hate my team, um, I broke a TV at the parish, uh, my host family locked me out of the house, what do I do? Our car broke down, we can't get to anywhere. Um, so I'm on call for those kind of questions. Dosik is on call for any like spiritual crises, um, vocational discernment questions. Um, this summer we had our first totus to us marriage. Um, Father David celebrated. I got to lecture at the wedding. It was so cool. We had two missionaries that met, hated each other, felt super awkward, requested to be on opposite teams because he had a crush on her and she was not accepting that yet. Um, and now they're married! <laughs> so excited! Um, so do so to do so be your future spouse. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I can't make that guarantee. Um, but it is just a great time. Um, then we have team support coordinators um, to come out and visit your team each week and just check in on you individually. Um, community life is hard. Living with the same three people for an entire summer can be draining and challenging and trying. And like, we know that you're gonna drive each other nuts and we know that you're gonna like help, help each other run towards Christ. Um, but we have a team support coordinator come visit you each week just to have someone outside of your team to talk to um, consistently because that's helpful. Um, and they're also just there for like something that you don't want to talk to your boss about. So if you need just to like bounce an idea off of someone without being like, I'm going to quit, um, you know, that's a good kind of medium person to bounce things off of. So they visit you once a week. We usually go out for ice cream, coffee, you know beer, all the fun things. So it's an awesome program, great summer. Um, if you're interested, let us know.